I'm here with Rick Macy um, and we're having conversations about the movie King Richard that came out on November 19th and um, Rick your your character plays obviously a major part in a major role in that movie as you played a major role in their development when they were when they were young I saw you at the red carpet premiere in LA and at the and pictures of the after party with Will Smith and Serena and Venus and all the characters how was that? Um, well, I can flat out say, and I've had an, a, an amazing life and a, a lot of great days. It was definitely one of the best days of my life. And I say that not for really the Hollywood part of it or the, glitz and, uh, the whole glitz of the whole thing. It was just being able to really reunite with Venus and Serena, you know, because they were like my own, they were like my own kids. They were my daughters. And like I always tell people, Richard was my best friend that time it was me and Richard against the world. So to reunite uh, with Venus and Serena, because I haven't seen them for a while, because I don't go to the pro tournaments, um, our paths don't cross, but once we started talking and you know smiling and laughing and a few tears and stories, it was just like old times. I mean, it just it brought us all back to uh, 1991 to 1995. And people don't understand, it's not like I just coached them, you know? I took them on as my family. And in the movie, you hear him say, you're part of our family. It, it's much deeper than, oh, Rick Macy coached them for four years. And I think the movie brings that out and that made me feel good. But just being able to reconnect with them and go back down memory lane, it was, uh, it was just great. It couldn't, I couldn't ask for anything more. And then the red carpet, obviously, uh, you know, with, with John Bernthal and, you know, the interaction with him, what a great guy. He did an amazing job. Uh, I tell people, I didn't know I was that hyper or jacked up all the time, but people are saying, yeah, you're kind of like that. And so, but listen, I'm not there to critique. I thought he did an amazing job and um, just spending time with him and talking to him. Even before the movie, we talked a handful of times. He read my book, Macy Magic. He got all the Macy-isms, popped the popcorn, extra butter. He got all the one-liners down. So he did a lot of research, watched video. Richard, Richard had an archive of videos of everything. So the research that he did into playing me, which is kind of weird to even say that, but what was amazing is over 200 people tried out to play me and John won. And when he pulled up, the producer said, there's no way this guy's gonna be it. Cause you know, he just came off the Punisher. He was like 30 pounds heavier than me. Um, he, it's kind of a rough and tough type of guy. Um, never played tennis, but it shows you what uh, capabilities he has as an actor to go through the field and be the winner, you know, in the, of the sweepstakes. And I'm sure he'll probably be nominated for an Oscar for a supporting role. He did an amazing job. So the red carpet was incredible. Um, the after party, uh, you know, spending time with Will Smith. Venus, Serena, everybody that was in the movie, the Williams' other sisters, Isha and Lindrea, I haven't seen them. They came from California. I mean, it was, like, it was amazing, you know, just to spend that time. There was even other people that are on the tour. Francis Tiafo was there, Riley Opelka. You know, he stood out in the crowd because he's seven feet tall. Uh, I, I worked with him when he was 12 years old. And uh, they'll both are going to come by the park and practice. And, uh, you know, that's great for the park, you know, just to have those type of people around. So I can honestly say it was one of the best days of uh, my life and nights. And to have my younger daughter, Ginger, there with me was great. Um, but also what happened the day before was I actually gave a lesson to little Venus, Sanaya Sydney, who was following me on Instagram, direct messaged uh, the manager did. And so we hooked up. She wanted to talk to the original Rick Macy. And so we talked and I said, listen, when I come to California, I'm going to give you a birthday present. We're going to have a lesson. So I gave her a lesson on one of the producer's court. Um, and then I gave her a birthday card, which was a poem. I didn't write it. I kind of I kind of said a nice little rhyme that's on YouTube and it's really gotten a lot of rave reviews. It was very, very nice. But just the whole weekend, even though I'm a very structured guy, I kind of get up at 3.30, I kind of go to bed at this time and I eat. My whole world got turned upside down. But you know what? I, I said, 
I got to take one for the team because I don't think I'm going to be going to too many more red carpets. I don't think too many more people are going to be playing me. So uh, at the end of the day, uh, one of the best days of my life.